to shame or embarrass. Um, it can be self-esteem, low confidence when they're around their peers. Um, so there are plenty of warning signs that you know that your child would need to seek out for help. And a lot of times we as parents, we're so busy, you know, with us going to school or going to work True. and just living our daily lives mm -hmm. and, you know, not really paying, you know, paying close attention to our kids' behavior and attitude. And at Hope Anger Management, you will meet with children, you will meet with families and couples. Is that right? Yes, yes, yes. And adults, yes. Do you do any kind of uh, a group session where several family members come together. I already, when that's coming out of my mouth, I hear the disaster <laughs> that could happen in the end. Yes. Because everybody wants to be heard. Everybody thinks they're right. So what does family counseling look like at Hope Anger Management? Okay, when I do the family therapy, um, basically, if it's a family of six or a family of four, it doesn't matter what size it is, I always break it down. Um, and so when I first get started, I do the parents. Um, and then I do, the parents separately and after that I bring one child in by themselves and then I end up introducing the child with one of the parents and then one of the kids will be with both of the parents and then eventually um, it will um, come all together as one that we're sitting at a conference table and just sitting down and my my perspective is making everybody understand each other perspective on whatever the issue or the situation is. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, a lot of people get upset or they're arguing or they're fussing because we don't understand one another. Um, in today's world, you know, social media, television and music. Um, it, it gears us to thinking that we should be alike. We should, you yeah. know, think alike. We should right. dress alike. We should act alike. And that's not true. We have to learn how to accept people for who they are. And then not only um, accept them, um, we have to be patient with everybody. And, and everybody have a background. And I think that we as a nation don't respect people background is is either you know you're going to be like me i'm going to judge you or yes. i'm going to push you away and yes. now you know i'm going to criticize you sometimes what seems like it should be so commonplace and logical for most of us I think if a person hasn't had someone to kind of reel them in or maybe even just listen to them, because, again, I think we act out a lot. I think when people are misunderstood and there are maybe poor communicators around them, I think sometimes people do things for attention. And so I really like that you're here. How can people... Like, I guess, what's the exit process look like? How does someone know when they're like, okay, I'm good now? Or are we ever good? <laughs> do, we, do we start therapy and then we're like, uh, yeah, maybe I just need to come back for maintenance? How does that work? It can go three different ways. Okay. Um, and I'm going to start off with the good, and then we're going to go to the okay, and then the bad. Gotcha. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Um, first, I would say, how how do we know that it's good? Um, there's The eye contact is there. The um, touching. Um, is there more um, understanding? They're more listening. Um they're listening more, I mean, and also um, they're compromising with each other. And then you have the middle. You have the ones that say, you know what, I'm not ready to deal with this situation. A lot of people come into therapy and think that they want a solution to their problem, mm -hmm. but they're not ready to dig in the dirt and get filthy dirty with it. Mm -hmm. um, and that means, you know, um, taking the, the shades off of their eyes. And, and a lot of people don't know how to face the truth. Yeah, they about like themselves. Live, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people live in um, a fantasy world instead of living in reality. Mm -hmm. um, and so when you come to therapy, it's not pretty at all. You know, it's like you've been in the hospital having surgery. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't like to look at the blood and yeah. a lot of people don't want to take the medication, but you right. have to go through the pain and the suffering and the tears in order, you know, to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. um, but the last but not least, you do have the ones that just give up, mm. just give up. And, and, and I have to help them come to a conclusion that this relationship is not good for you. Um, and maybe, you know, I won't say it's not good.